Hey guys, today I'm gonna to talk about sealed boxes and buying them for profit or not for profit and how you should go about doing it. So we have two boxes right now. We have Shadows Over Innistrad, which I believe we're gonna open for Patreon. I'm not sure, but it seems like one of our patrons, Jeremy, wants to open this, so we'll open it. And next we have RTR. The reason I want to talk about RTR is because out of all the boxes in the future set, people have said this one was a great investment. When RTR first came out, people were buying cases of this to store, including a local game store I know. And that local game store is now sitting on 50 cases of this because it bought cases from other stores as well as holding on to its own, but it just never went up in price. Never did it go up in price. And before we talk about why it hasn't gone up in price, if you had put money into this, you would be in a very bad situation where your money is stuck in a product that is unlikely to ever go up in much in price. And the reason that a modern set like RTR or Shadows isn't, it used to be back in the day, you can buy a box of Arabian Night one day become $25,000 and that was great. You can buy a box of Onslaught, even you can buy a box of original Zendikar and then one day it would be worth a lot more money than you paid for it. Now it, you can't do that because I, the player base has stopped growing and too much of it has been printed. Too much of it. Like there's no recent set that I would ever advise you to invest in. And people will say, how about Eternal Masters? Because it's a limited set. Uh, I, I don't know. Like, I really don't know about that because even Modern Masters 2015, not Modern Masters 1, Modern Masters 2015, you can still buy it from M MSRP on multiple websites online. You can even buy it from under MSRP on multiple websites online. And that was out a year ago. So in a whole year, that price has actually dropped because it started at much higher than MSRP. It started at 280 and now you can buy a David Adams for 250 and there's places on eBay you can buy for 220, 225. And even at one point in David Adams, I got it for like 200, I think, or 210. So buying sealed boxes is a bad, bad financial decision. Unless you are going to draft with them, unless you're going to have fun opening it, then it's a good decision because it counts as entertainment value as opposed to investment value. When you want to invest in something, you're expecting that investment, or you're hoping at least, that investment will passively make you money. Well, yes and no, you don't want to commit money into boxes, but all the recent boxes, starting from RTR, even Conchatar Care, so many people were sitting on so many cases of Conchatar Care, he's like, oh, this will be valuable someday with Festlands and whatnot. And that logically made sense. That logically makes sense. But RTR, which has been unprinted um, for such a long time and having shock lands, abrupt decays, I love this set. Value-wise, in terms of power level, there's not a set that can really compare to RTR in my opinion. But it hasn't gone up. It's still $80 a box. <laughs> anyway, bye.